What's going on everybody? Hope you're having a good one. Today's video is just going to be a really quick one on a couple of the simple tools that I use to work on the mower here. As you guys can see, I've got it up on the lift. We're going to go ahead and scrape the deck out and we're going to get working on the blades. I just wanted to make this video to kind of show you guys a couple simple tools that I use to make this process go smooth, make it go efficiently, and just overall keep maintenance time down. Because obviously, if you don't make time to maintain your machine, your machine is going to make that time for you and it's not going to be good. So if you guys want to check this video out, give it a watch. I appreciate it. Let's jump right into it. So the first tool we're going to use is this little uh, DeWalt 20 volt impact that I bought from Lowe's. It was just in a kit. It was this impact and it was a drill and they just run off these little 20 volt batteries. You can actually put the larger batteries in there if you want. But I use this. This is the impact version. This is the one that I use to break these blades off every time that I need to get up under here. As you can see, I haven't cleaned the deck out in a while, but the fluid film, if you guys have seen the video on my fluid film that I use to keep this deck from clogging up really bad it works really great if i hadn't done this in the amount of time that i haven't done it in that it would be really really clogged up it would be really bad so let's go ahead and break these blades off with this impact real quick and we'll take a look at them they need to be changed out go ahead and throw a new set of blades on there as well The reason I like using this impact is it prevents you from having to stuff a board up in here like a lot of people have to do when they go to change their blades out. Just give it a couple quick taps of the trigger and your blades will pop right off. Now we'll switch over to the other side. I don't know if you could see that, but I was just checking these, making sure these spindles are good, making sure they're not loose. If they were loose, you'd be able to tell right now because they'd be wobbling, but they're in good shape. So now we're gonna get this deck scraped out and cleaned off. We've got the blades off. So let's get this deck scraped. I like to use this little grass buster scraper. You could also use a, a putty knife, like a putty knife for drywall and stuff that works really well for scraping any grass that you have up under this deck off. And I like to take this tarp and put this tarp down. That way the cleanup process is uh, very, very quick. Just chops that time in half. Wow, this stuff is really stuck on me.
so we got the blades popped off we got the deck scraped out next step is going to be to head up to the shed and we're going to grind some blades down real quick get the get a nice sharp edge back on them i might be tossing these blades because they are pretty pretty bent and pretty banged up and i've sharpened them quite a few times and it might just be time to retire this specific set of blades but we're going to head up to the shed right now and check out the tool that we use to get the blade sharpened get them dialed in and get them balanced out so let's head up there right now now we're up here in the shed this is the dewalt 20 volt cordless angle grinder that i like to use to get these blades sharpened up i don't have power out here in my shed so i like to use this thing this thing is awesome it's just got the four inch disc on it there actually I need to change that disc out but this is the disc that i use to grind down all these blades you can see down here get everything ground down this thing does make quite a bit of mess obviously you can see right there that is the metal shavings that comes flying off this thing that's why i keep my balancer covered there with that plastic bag just to prevent all the metal shavings from getting stuck to that because it is magnetic but this is the cordless angle grinder that i use up here to get the blades dialed in and sharpened and this thing is sweet a lot of my tools well all my tools really are dewalt because that's what i have all the batteries for and as you can see right there i love this thing battery is fully charged nice little gauge there to tell you this is the three milliamp hour battery the they make the uh the bigger ones i need to get a couple of the bigger ones some of the five they would really do well on this because the, this thing just absolutely destroys the battery it goes through it like crazy so i'm going to run back to the house and grab a couple more right now and uh, get some of these blades sharpened up now that we have the blades off we've got the deck scraped out everything's nice and clean under there we're going to go ahead and throw a sharpened set of blades back on and we'll get the mower back in running condition the point of this video really was just to show you guys these simple tools that I use, they're DeWalt powered tools that I have a ton of batteries for DeWalt, that's why I like to use them, that's why I bought them. It just makes everything so much simpler, so much faster. I know a lot of people get caught up in the, well, you know, that's just too many gadgets, you're overcomplicating a simple process. Well, if you think about it, I'm really not. I'm making a simple process easier. I'm not exerting any physical effort really other than the changing of the batteries, which does get tiring after having to wear them down so quick, especially with grinding the blades that grinder absolutely destroys the batteries having to wait for them to charge but i have a couple charging cradles which really comes in handy for getting everything done so that's pretty sweet so like i said we'll get the bet the blades thrown back on there get everything wrapped up and the mower will be ready to cut again tomorrow just wanted to make this video for you guys if you guys are trying to sort of simplify the process that you may do right now as far as sharpening blades and everything goes uh it's definitely something for you guys to look into sorry i'm trying to kind of stay out of the sun that's setting back there behind us but it's definitely something to look into look into some dewalt power tools or it doesn't even have to be the dewalt power tools tons of other companies make cordless tools like i said earlier i don't have power up to my shed that's why i like to use the cordless tool um, i don't have any power here out in the carport so i like to get everything done with the batteries it's quicker i'm not using it all the time if i were you know a full-time operation with multiple crews multiple rigs multiple pieces of equipment Obviously, I would have some kind of shop with power ran directly to it. It would make it a lot easier. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you made it this far. If you did, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe, and drop a comment. Let me know what you guys like to do as far as just simple routine maintenance goes on your machines. Take care, guys. Have a good one, and we'll catch you all on the next one. See ya.